Welcome guys, this is Sina, welcome to Machine Learning Mindset. Um, today I'm going to talk about the automatic differentiation and how you can do it actually with TensorFlow. So as I wrote it for you here, um, and I'm just quoting here, so the automatic differentiation is actually calculate the derivative of functions that we usually use in algorithms such as the stochastic gradient descent. This is particularly important when we want to optimize a model and you want to keep track of the changes based on some input variables and actually changing the inputs and its effect on the outputs of um, actually different layers or the final outputs at, um, in fact. So in general, the chain rule is going to be used for differentiating says we have a function l of x and we have f operated on g operated on h of x differentiation rule is going to be dl of x is going to be df over dg and the uh, g function over dh of function and dh over x so the chain rules i just put the link here you can just go ahead and read on wikipedia about it in the, um, details so the gradients are actually those derivatives that are needs to be calculated and tensorflow does it for us automatically let's just go ahead and get started here i'm just importing tensorflow as tf and numpy as np so and in general the tf gradient tape function is going to be using tensorflow to compute gradients let's see how it works so we have x which is t of contact contact um, constant of two and with tf gradient tape persistent false we watch the access um, variables as grad and we calculate this function so this tf gradient tape is going to watch and track the functions so later on we are going to calculate the gradient so we have as grad here in fact and we can use later on the grad to compute the gradients Let's see what's gonna happen so we don't get any results and why is that because simple x is not a tensorflow variables so it just watch the variables as grad but since x is not a variables by default it's just a tf constant it doesn't actually compute the gradients what's the solution first we can use tf dot constant and put a tf variables on x to make it like a variable now when we compute we have the gradient of tensor x to the power of 2 when we um, get the gradients this function is going to be 2 multiplied by x the gradient of it and when x is 2 the gradient is going to be 4 it's very easy because x is 2 as here so there's another way which is more neat to do it so here we define x as normal we don't have to make it variables or watch if it's being variable or not and here we use the grad.watch method on x. We specifically enforce the grad wrapper to watch x variables. Now when we compute actually the gradients, again, we have the gradients down there. So you need to be, be careful by, when using TF gradient tape to make sure either your variables are variables, not constant, or you use the watch to enforce it for TensorFlow. This is more of an advanced operations. If you use high level keras, you don't really need to use that. But if you use um, customized models with TensorFlow, you definitely need to know how this variable and watch is working. So I just gave you some more, um, you must show you some more um, descriptions here, what's gonna happen and what's the difference. Here, let's go to use the persistent variable to true. So if you use persistent variable to true, um, after one calling or gradients, the gradients won't be released. So it says, okay, with persistence equals to true, we make it as variables. And when we use the grad, we can use the grad twice. Because by using a grad, grad dot gradient, the variables that we're watching are not going to be released because we use persistent to true. So I encourage you to, for the very same example, use persistent to false and see what's going to happen. You probably would see that for h, x um, to the power of 3, we can't compute the gradients and you give an error. Why? Because after grad gradient, 
the gradients are released and you don't have access to any variables being watched to compute the gradients okay thank you so much for your attention um, that was a sort of general overview of automatic differentiation and the graphs concept uh, automatic differentiation on the graphs um, in tensorflow i hope you enjoyed it and feel free to comment below if you had any question or point of view thank you so much